Airport. So I am at Edinburgh Airport. I was just going to say Glasgow Airport. I'm always going to Glasgow Airport because I'm right beside it. And Edinburgh Airport is on the other side of the country. But this is the only place that flies to Copenhagen. So I'm going from Edinburgh to Copenhagen to then get a train into Sweden the other way. I'm going away from Copenhagen. And then I'm getting picked up and then taken to some mystery destination. Just mystery because I've forgotten the name of it. And to go to lovely Prince Word, Martin and Ida's wedding tomorrow. So we're arriving today, meeting everyone today, and then tomorrow I'm just talking at the wedding. I've got to do a Corinthians letter. One of the many. Um, not all of them, thankfully. And then I've got to be the toast, madam, at their, during their dinner in Sweden. Everyone kind of does toasts, rather than, like I'm used to in the UK, it's only like father the bride and I've not been to many weddings, the best man and the groom and maybe some other people have really not been to many weddings, um, but in Sweden pretty much anyone and everyone and it goes on whilst you're eating dinner so you don't have to sit thinking hurry up, I'm starving, but me and another man, Lars, who's going to be the Toastmaster, and I'm going to be the Toastmadam, uh, are facilitating it. We're going to keep it running. If someone's boring, everyone think we're going to prod them with a stick. Um, in my head, this is going to be exactly like the Eurovision Song Contest. We're going to be the two really, really overly wearing hosts uh, that tell terrible jokes. And I've got a really long dress, just to keep in with the Eurovision style uh, costumes. So I'm just going to go to my gate, gate 2, and fly it. Bye bye, see you in Copenhagen. So we landed in Denmark, in Copenhagen, and the doors opened to... Now when we left Edinburgh it was drizzly, wait where's the camera on this phone? There. Um, when we left Edinburgh it was quite drizzly, when we arrived in Copenhagen, I don't know, I don't know if you can see how wet one half of my body is because the rain was just <laughs> and so it's not a really good start to your trip when you arrive soaking wet uh, the reason half my body is wet because it like a proper girl my coat is for my hair <laughs> nothing else it's for my hair my hair's fine so we're good now for baggage and train Evil rain. I don't know if anyone else does this, but you know these walkway things? Do you ever kind of surreptitiously race the person that's on it? I take it as a personal insult. This girl gets off that bit before I do. <laughs> right, natural, natural. Right back to the start. Okay, I'm trying to book tickets, uh, okay, in English. How did I go back to that? More destinations. B. This is like a game, I really want to get the next train. Um, are you doing anything? Aha, I done my bridge. Oh, look at me, I'm like a pro. Put a card. One. Standard clear, it's got some cheap. Let's just say one way. Uh, yeah. Cool, that's me. I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, over dramatically, I'm just going there. I think. Everyone in Sweden is so nice and polite. Coming from Glasgow where um, people can be very very friendly but quite, um, let's just say, forceful or spontaneous in their emotions. Um, this is quite a nice relaxed country to travel about and um, I'm on the train. <laughs> Yeah, I'm here. 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 I'm here.
Ska vi hjälpa vidare mot Kalskrona så kan vi redan nu gå genom Right. Yeah. I completely jinxed myself. There is a drunken guy who keeps coming back and forward. I thought he was coming again. And talking to me while well, just going, I don't. I don't. And sitting down on the floor in front of me. <laughs> so I take back what I just said. Because uh, I was kind of hinting at the fact that there didn't seem to be many drunks at this time of day. Which is quite normal in Glasgow. Um, so the train separated. I was sitting in a different area. Uh, I had to move to this bit. Hopefully the train... Hopefully the train is now... Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Um, there's a wee button. Oh, I don't know where the button is. The button there. And the guy and said yes, brute force pulled the door open around and just pressed the really obvious button that would open the door. And um, okay, so I've moved bits of the train, the train separated. Hopefully I'm going in the right bit. I'm then not going to call school now, I'm gonna to go to Bumalama and get picked up there. So and my battery's really low. So this is probably the end of videos other than maybe my hotel room. Ooh, how fancy.